Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at my plans for Game Week 21 but before that we'll look at what happened in Game Week 20 which was so last year. So the Midnight Mule Mini League top scorer was Don Moran up the Punes with 110 points. Very impressive because he only actually had nine players. No Zinchenko, no cash. So it was Captain Salah for 32, Palmer 18, Foden 12, Ariola 11, Watkins 8, Diaby and Alvarez 7, Gvardiol 6. Oh, and Sun 9. So that was very good. And look at that, no points left on the bench. Fantastic. And then top of our league is BV with Gigachad FC. They managed 73 points. That was Captain Salah 32, Sun 9, Richarlison 8, Watkins 8, Saka 7, and that was it. And then Ariola on the bench, but I suspect a lot of people would have played Martinez over Ariola. It was just the wrong call. But they're still top of the league, so hey, what do I know? As for me, I'm down in 150th with 87 points. I had Salah captain 32, Palmer 18, Sun 9, Dubravka 8, Watkins 8, and that's all. And then 6 points on the bench. Once again, I left points on the bench with Heechan. And as you can see, I've got 3 players currently on the bench, red flag not playing, 3 on the field, red flag not playing, and in Kunku, yellow flag. So that's 7 players that need dealing with. So that's nice. So I got 87 points anyway, game week rank just inside the 800,000. Um, overall, I'm just inside the 600,000, little green arrow, so that's nice. I'm, I'm happy with all that. So overall, I'm seven points outside the half million rank and I'm 208 points behind top spot. So if I can outscore top by 12 points a week between now and the end of the season, I should win the whole thing. Thank you very much to all of you who are subscribed and who leave comments and like this, and most of all, who watch these things. It is very much appreciated. Now, the Content Creators League, if you look at FPL Game Week, you can see how Content Creators are doing. If you watch Content Creators, I expect a lot of you do, you'll see them in this league. The ones I like to watch, FPL Fran's currently second, and the top seven, I believe it is, in our Midnight Mini League are beating this lot. And then Mark Southern's down in seventh, and Andy's probably the most popular one in the world. He's down in ninth, so he's gradually creeping up there. As for me, I'm all the way down in 58th now, even though I've got a green arrow. So most content creators went up globally last game week because a lot of them had areola. I'm going to say that was the reason why. So transfers. I've already made a couple of transfers because I've got so many to deal with. So a couple of days ago, I sold Trent and brought in a stupid ant. And I also sold Sun and brought in Foden. And by the time I did that, Foden had already gone up, I think, 0.2. So I've not gained any money from this. But with Trent injured, he was an easy sell for me. Now, I know he may be back in a couple of game weeks. But my experience of this fantasy game, and I've been playing the Telegraph one for many years, I don't know, 25 years or something, is a player, often a good player that's expensive and injured. You think they're going to be back next game week. And that can go on for several game weeks. So if you have an expensive player and they're marked as injured, I think more often than not, you're better off just getting rid of them. If they're just bench fodder, it doesn't matter so much. So I had two free transfers. This has cost me nothing. But I may also swap He Chan and get in Gordon. That's a possibility. All this is because of Nkunku. If Nkunku, I knew he was fit, I wouldn't do this transfer, but I'm a player short if Nkunku doesn't play. And from what I've seen coming out of Chelsea today is I think he's looking less likely to play than actually play. Another option is in game 19, that's when I took out Gel Pedro and brought an Nkunku. Oops, that was a mistake. So I could sell Nkunku back to Gel Pedro. That's something else I'm considering. And I may do that instead of the he Chan to Gordon move or as well as or I may do neither. So I guess I'm probably going to decide tomorrow which if either of these two I'm going to do. And I've put my minus eight there. It's kind of minus eight because two game weeks ago I swapped them around and putting them back again. It was just a very expensive mistake. But Nkunku is a very good player. And if he is fit, he's worth having. 
So as it stands, my team for game week 21, I have Palmer at home to Fulham. He gets to wear the old mule hat and his palanquinko up front. And uh, if I'm not pretty confident he's going to play, I probably am going to make a sub. But I would actually quite like to keep him. And then I've got Saka at home to Palace with his mate Saliba. I've got a Astupinen at home to Wolves. I've got Solanke at home to Liverpool. Solanke looks like he can score against anyone. And then Dubravka and Trippier at home to Man City. Pedro Porro away to Man United. Foden away to Newcastle. And then Watkins away to Everton. So I'm kind of actually expecting a small red arrow if I go with this team. And if I make one or two up more subs, I think I might get a sizable red arrow. But it, I would do it because it should set me up in the coming game weeks. That would be the plan anyway. And on my bench, I've got <laughs> absolutely nobody playing. Whatever I do, I'm probably going to have nobody on my bench. But Senesi's only out for one week. It was just an unfortunate suspension. And as for the background image, I spent ages on different ideas. In the end, I went with this. So it's supposed to be Jamie Vardy. Today's January the 10th and it's his birthday. And he's one of my favourite ever Premiership players. Leicester's kind of my second team because I used to live just outside Leicester. I went to Filbert Street a few times. And it's supposed to be in the style of manga because of the Asian cap coming up. So that was the vague link I've got there. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I don't feel too bad about having to make lots of transfers if I do, because there's a lot of managers in my position of needing to make transfers. I'm not going to wildcard, though, because there'll be times later in the season where I'm going to really want the wildcard. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And I think this could be a crazy game week 21 regarding scores. I think there could be some quite low scores and some massive scores. I think we might see some over 100 points. But what do I know? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.